To write the formula for calcium acetate, we'll first write the element symbol for calcium. So that's C-A. For acetate, we see it ends in A-T-E. That means we won't find this on the periodic table. We've either memorized that acetate is CH3COO- or if we're allowed, we can look it up on a table with ions. So here's a table, and the acetate ion, that's right here. Acetate is CH3COO-. It's also written this way here. I like this way a little bit better, so we'll use this in this video. Let's go back to our formula, and we'll write our acetate ion. And don't forget that the acetate ion is 1 minus. That's its charge, and that's for the whole acetate ion there. So we know the charge on the acetate, and since we have this calcium, which is a metal, an acetate, that's a group of nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. We have to balance the charge, have a net charge of 0. Let's look calcium up on the periodic table, find its ionic charge. So calcium is right here. Calcium's in group 2, has a 2 plus ionic charge. So the ionic charge for calcium is going to be 2 plus. So we write 2 plus. At this point, these charges don't add up to 0. So to fix that, we could put parentheses around the acetate ion and put a 2. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. 2 minus and 2 plus, that gives us a net charge of 0. So this is the formula for calcium acetate. Let's remove these symbols here. So we have our formula for calcium acetate. Do note that sometimes the calcium is put at the end of the formula, like this. That's done because this acetate ion here, that forms in reactions with acetic acid. And essentially this H here, that's what's exchanged in the chemical reaction. So this H here, it's replaced by the calcium. And that's why the calcium's at the end sometimes with calcium acetate. But either way is fine. This is Dr. B with the formula for calcium acetate. Thanks for watching.